For months, astronomers have been watching a silent traveler glide through our solar system, an interstellar visitor unlike anything we've ever seen. Known as Three-Eye Atlas, it came from beyond the boundaries of the Milky Way, crossing the cold and endless gulf of interstellar space. But just as the world prepared to say goodbye to this enigmatic object, something unprecedented happened. As Three-Eye Atlas moved toward its closest approach to the Sun, telescopes around the world recorded an anomaly so strange that even the most skeptical scientists were left speechless. Its light changed, its structure shifted, and then it did something no natural object has ever been seen doing. Tonight, we'll explore what the James Webb, Hubble, and ground-based observatories just witnessed, and why Avi Loeb himself, one of Harvard's most renowned astrophysicists, says this anomaly could mark the most serious discovery in modern astronomy. Everything began when Spain's two-meter twin telescope captured 159 exposures of 3I Atlas as it approached solar conjunction the moment when it would pass behind the sun from Earth's perspective. What those images revealed was nothing short of impossible, a thin jet of material shooting directly toward the sun. Every comet we've ever studied releases dust and gas that the solar wind pushes away from the star, forming a tail that always points outward. But this one was reversed, a counter tail, as if the object were rejecting the sun's influence rather than succumbing to it. The discovery was quickly confirmed by both the Hubble Space Telescope and Hawaii's Keck Observatory, which detected a diffuse glow extending toward the sun, not away from it. For a comet, that behavior is physically absurd, the equivalent of seeing smoke flow against the wind. The anomaly didn't just defy expectations, it defied the laws of solar physics. Some researchers speculated that the material might be resistant to radiation pressure possibly composed of unknown elements or alloys that react differently to solar photons. Others suggested something even more radical, that the tail wasn't natural at all, but an emission or exhaust from a controlled mechanism within the object itself. As more data poured in, astronomers realized this was no ordinary cometary body. The mass and gravity readings of 3I Atlas didn't match. According to its trajectory, the object should have weighed far more than its observed motion suggested. In simple terms, it was moving as if it were lighter than it looked. Even more baffling, it rotated unusually slow, completing one full spin every 16 hours, which under normal conditions would cause structural instability in a typical rock or ice body. Yet 3I Atlas remained perfectly intact, theories began to collapse one by one. Some experts proposed it might be hollow, an idea supported by subtle fluctuations in its reflected brightness. If true, that would mean we're observing not a solid rock, but a shell, possibly metallic, drifting through space. Its nickel and iron content, as measured through spectral analysis, was significantly higher than that of any comet or asteroid in our solar system. Combined with traces of cyanide compounds, rare even in interstellar dust, this composition suggested something far beyond natural formation. As these results emerged, debate erupted in the scientific community. Could 3I Atlas be artificial? Or was this an entirely new category of interstellar object built by physics we haven't yet discovered? To make sense of the growing chaos, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his research team introduced something unprecedented, the OEP scale, or Object of Extraterrestrial Probability, inspired by the Torino scale used to assess asteroid threats. This ranking system classifies interstellar visitors from level 0 to level 10, based on the number and severity of unexplained anomalies. Level 0 corresponds to fully natural objects, like 2I Borisov, while level 10 would represent confirmed extraterrestrial technology with global consequences. Loeb placed 3I Atlas at level 4, describing it as an object with multiple persistent anomalies and no satisfactory natural explanation after extensive analysis. According to Loeb's model, this puts it in the zone of potential technosignatures. In other words, a 40% chance, yes, 40%, that its origin might not be natural. That number sent shockwaves through both the scientific community and social media. While most astronomers dismissed it as speculation, Loeb's past predictions about Oumuamua, another interstellar mystery, suddenly gained renewed credibility. 
If 3i Atlas truly behaves as the data suggests, we may be looking at the second confirmed visitor from beyond our galaxy, and possibly the first built, not born. Just as interest reached its peak, 3i Atlas vanished. Not destroyed, but hidden. As it moved into solar conjunction, the object aligned perfectly with the sun from Earth's viewpoint, making it invisible to telescopes for several weeks. It was as if the universe had drawn a curtain over the most mysterious performance in modern astronomy. During this period, observatories went silent, waiting for it to reappear. NASA's funding delays and the European Space Agency's data embargo left the public with nothing but speculation. Meanwhile, simulations revealed that once it emerges from behind the Sun, 3i Atlas will head straight toward Jupiter's orbital path. An eerie coincidence that has astronomers both excited and uneasy. The projected trajectory won't cause an impact, but it will bring the object alarmingly close to several probes, including ESA's JUICE mission and NASA's Europa Clipper, both of which might pass through its ion tail. If that happens, we could finally gather direct samples of its mysterious material, or detect something far stranger. Some scientists believe the anti-correlated jet might reactivate during this phase, producing electromagnetic signatures we've never seen before. Others fear the opposite, that once it's behind the sun, 3i Atlas might change course entirely. If it does, it won't just rewrite physics. It will redefine what we believe about intelligence beyond Earth. After nearly six weeks of silence, the moment the world had been waiting for finally arrived. As 3i Atlas emerged from behind the sun, dozens of telescopes across Earth, the moon, and orbit turned their gaze toward the coordinates predicted months before. But what they saw wasn't what anyone expected. Instead of fading, as most comets do after perihelion, 3i Atlas was brighter, much brighter. In fact, its albedo, the measure of light it reflects, had increased by nearly 400%. Its apparent magnitude rose beyond all models, meaning it was somehow reflecting far more sunlight than its surface area could possibly allow. Infrared readings revealed that its temperature hadn't increased. It had stabilized, even as it moved away from the sun. Something inside it was regulating its heat, emitting and absorbing energy in perfectly balanced cycles. Then came the strangest part. The anti-correlated jet that had once pointed toward the sun was gone. In its place was a thin, pulsating beam of faint ultraviolet radiation extending sideways into deep space, steady and rhythmic, like a cosmic heartbeat. To observers, it looked deliberate, controlled. The world's observatories began recording every pulse. The pattern wasn't random. It repeated every 247 seconds exactly, as though the object had begun broadcasting something. Within days, data scientists from the European Southern Observatory and MIT began decoding the ultraviolet pulses. At first, they seemed meaningless, a repetitive burst of radiation fluctuating between two intensities. But after filtering through frequency compression algorithms, one of the analysts noticed a striking pattern. The pulses corresponded to prime numbers, the universal signature often suggested in SETI research as the simplest way an intelligent civilization might establish communication. First two, then three, then five, then seven, then eleven. The sequence continued for hours before resetting. The chances of a naturally occurring prime sequence emerging from radiation fluctuation are astronomically low, practically zero. And yet, 3i Atlas was emitting it with precision. The revelation divided the global scientific community. NASA urged caution, calling it a coincidental modulation due to rotational dynamics. Avi Loeb and his Harvard team disagreed. He publicly stated that this was no longer an astronomical event. It was a message. Soon, smaller observatories from Japan to Chile confirmed the data independently. Whatever 3i Atlas was, it wasn't acting like debris or even a passive body. It was behaving like a system a machine executing a coded protocol in response to solar interaction, and it had just begun transmitting again. To investigate further, the James Webb Space Telescope was reoriented toward 3i Atlas, its instruments calibrated for hyperspectral imaging. What it captured sent shockwaves through every scientific institution. Beneath the object's reflective surface, Webb detected a geometric structure, 
a lattice-like framework running beneath its crust, composed of repeating hexagonal plates aligned with its rotation axis. It was not random, not fractured, not natural. Each plate measured precisely the same dimension, reflecting light in mathematically perfect intervals. Webb's analysis suggested the structure was composed of a highly conductive nickel-titanium alloy, with atomic purity higher than anything found in nature. To put it simply, 3i Atlas wasn't just unusual, it was engineered. The discovery was quietly confirmed by spectroscopic data from the JWST's NIRSPEC instrument, which revealed controlled polarization shifts as if the object's outer layer were adjusting itself in real time to minimize glare. This wasn't a rock. It was something built to hide, adapt, and survive interstellar travel. But if it truly was a craft, the question that haunted scientists worldwide was simple. Where was the pilot? On the night of its reappearance, something unprecedented occurred. Without warning, the rhythmic ultraviolet pulses ceased. For 12 full hours, 3i Atlas went dark, completely inert. Then, at precisely 217 UTC, the object made a sudden measurable adjustment in its velocity vector. It wasn't deflection from radiation or gravitational pull, it was course correction. Its trajectory shifted by 0.09 degrees, a tiny angle, yet one that no natural body could achieve without external propulsion. The maneuver placed it directly on a new path, away from Jupiter's orbit and toward the outer solar system, accelerating at 14 meters per second squared, far beyond the capability of any known cometary outgassing. Observatories scrambled to recalculate projections. The new route would take it toward the heliopause, the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space, but not randomly. Its exit trajectory aligned almost perfectly with the coordinates of its original inbound path, as if it were returning home. Before disappearing once more into the deep, 3i Atlas emitted one final ultraviolet pulse. It wasn't a sequence this time. It was a single, sustained beam that lasted exactly 13 minutes and 37 seconds, long enough to be recorded, analyzed, and archived. Its spectrum carried something that changed everything, a faint, encoded signature resembling structured binary information. For the first time in history, an interstellar object may have not only visited our solar system, it may have spoken back. For days, scientists around the world analyzed the final ultraviolet transmission from 3i Atlas. At first, it seemed like static, random fluctuations buried in a sea of cosmic noise. But when a research team at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics applied Fourier transformations to isolate frequency harmonics, the noise began to take shape. It wasn't random. The beam contained structure, a pattern of binary modulations, too precise to be natural. The sequence repeated every 13 minutes and 37 seconds, the exact duration of the original pulse, as if time itself were encoded into the message. The data wasn't broadcasting information outward. It was reflecting it, a mirror signal, built to respond to the electromagnetic signature of the instruments observing it. In other words, 3i Atlas wasn't just sending, it was listening. When the message was reconstructed visually, what appeared on the screen silenced the entire lab. A three-dimensional fractal structure, layers of repeating hexagons forming a perfect spiral, identical to the internal lattice the James Webb Telescope had seen beneath the object's surface. Within that fractal was an embedded mathematical ratio, 1.618 the golden constant of natural growth found everywhere from nautilus shells to spiral galaxies. To biologists, it looked like a pattern of cellular replication. To physicists, it looked like an equation for gravitational symmetry. To some, it looked like a signature. The universe's own handwriting, encoded in geometry, now written back to us from across the stars. Governments tried to contain the data, but the signal was already public. Independent observatories verified that faint echoes of the same pulse had been detected across multiple frequencies of the solar wind, as if the transmission had reverberated through space itself, imprinting on the fabric of our heliosphere. Every time scientists tried to replay the data, the structure changed slightly, as though it were evolving, adapting, reacting to human interference. One researcher described it best. It's as if it knows it's being watched. Soon after, Avi Loeb updated his OEP scale again. For the first time, he gave an object a level 9, 
one step below confirmed extraterrestrial technology. In his report, he wrote, 3i Atlas demonstrated controlled propulsion, directed emission, and now, information symmetry. The odds of this being natural are indistinguishable from zero. His conclusion was simple but devastating. 3i Atlas may not have been an artifact of alien design, but a messenger, a vessel transmitting the signature of an intelligence older than any civilization we can imagine. Then, on the morning of September 21st, something strange happened. All monitoring stations tracking the fading trajectory of 3i Atlas detected a simultaneous spike in cosmic microwave background noise, the faint echo of the Big Bang itself. The signal bore the same frequency ratio as the final pulse. For a fraction of a second, the background of the universe answered. And just like that, it was gone. The object disappeared beyond the heliopause, leaving behind only the data, a code that no one has yet deciphered, but that every scientist agrees was deliberate. 3i Atlas didn't just visit our solar system. It left a mark, a proof that the universe isn't silent, that intelligence isn't ours alone, and that the stars may be much more alive than we ever dared to believe. As one astronomer wrote in the final line of his report, perhaps we were never meant to find it. Perhaps it found us. So if this story made you question what's really out there, don't look away. Subscribe to this channel. We uncover the truths that space agencies won't tell you. Turn on notifications, because when 3i Atlas sends its next signal, you'll want to be here to hear it first.